wonder, you know, we got you here. I mean, I, I, we've been talking about it. How did you what did you think of the doc? Patrice's doc. I only watched a little bit of it. Um, I, I don't really. I liked what I saw. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not good at going back. I've yeah. never seen all of Elephant in the Room. Yeah, I, really? It was painful no, for you. Yeah, yeah. It's too uncomfortable to watch it or listen to the old O&A clips. Because uh, I remember a lot of that, you know, like yeah. I, I, I stopped in when he was shooting Elephant in the Room. We had the same manager and I stopped in. Yeah, uh, Branstein. Yeah. And I watched for a few minutes and then I, uh, I left. I think I was going to the cellar. But yeah, it's kind of difficult. Like guys like him or guys like Otto. Uh, yeah. I can watch a little bit, but I can't watch too really? much. Yeah, it's just too un it's too un un unpleasant. It makes me too sad. So I, I mean, but I, 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 little pieces I can. Yeah. Certain bits I can listen to. I thought they gave it they did a good good job. I I always look like I always look at it like this. I mean, you know, when you have somebody and they die young, or like I mean, Otto was a good dude and, and you know and greg and mike d stuff i mean like we lost so oh. many that yeah but but the thing is if if somebody was if, if he was 92 you would kind of feel the same way i know that you go well he left he, he you know he died young but what we want is more you know you want more whatever it is you want more if you if your friend passes the the reality is that you're never ready for to, to you're never going okay i've had enough of him you know if right. it's your friend yes yeah. so you're never gonna so what you know it's kind of our greed in a sense where we just want more of the person um even though we've had what we experienced you know I would have liked a few more years because I'll be honest, I was almost finished with him anyway. I mean, 41. <laughs> Priest probably had two more good years in my life before I finally just fucking cut him off. So I would love to have gotten a couple more years. I mean, look, but I felt like my relationship with him was complete. Like, there's nothing that went yeah. unsaid. Like, yeah. I don't wish he was alive for me to say anything. Right, 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 right. You just knew. want more. Yeah, I mean, we knew I, I, I knew how he felt about me and I knew how, like I knew he knew, too. So it, it's not yeah. like, fuck, there's that moment that I wish. Yeah. You know, no I mean, regrets. Uh, no, none. He was with me. Uh, we went and saw Richard Pryor together. The only time I ever met Richard Pryor was with Patrice. Oh, really? Uh, oh, it was shit. very brief at the comedy store. Yeah. <laughs> um, what year would this have been? Yeah, I want to say it was ninety five. And Patrice oh, and I were both shit. managed by Caroline's and uh, like Rick Dorfman and those guys were managing. Uh -huh. people. Rick was at Caroline's. So they sent us out to L.A. to do a uh, like a showcase at the improv. You'd go out there and right. I was on a TWA flight cross country and I was sitting next to Patrice. I was in the window and he was in the aisle. And I remember I pissed so much because I had to keep stepping over him. And he <laughs> fucking told me I'm probably diabetic. Uh, he's like, you got to get yourself tested for diabetes. So we get to L.A. and we do the showcase and it's awful. They send Patrice up first. And right. oh, that's the worst. Tanks. Yeah, everyone. It, it's a disaster. There's 40 yeah. people in the room, whatever. It just stunk. And then at the comedy store was with Richard Pryor. So uh, Patrice and I went over uh, and, and got to watch him. And I only I didn't get to talk to him. I just asked him to sign my my business card because he was. so uh, Right, and, right. Uh, yeah, he was like he signed like two things. Uh -huh. and, um, he's like, I can't anymore. So I, I asked his wife, I'm like, I'll probably never get this chance again. I'm from the East Coast. And uh, she's like, Richard, Richard, just one more. So he signed my business card. Um, but yeah, that was a, that was a really. Uh, Patrice didn't meet him, though. He's like, nah, I didn't like he didn't go over and say anything to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, nah, I didn't. You know, that's that's kind of how he Patrice was. He, you know, there was no one yeah. that was going to make him stand up and walk across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Not even prior. With those fucking <laughs> awful knees. <Yeah. laughs> and, and, and he was arrogant. You know, that was the beauty of him. You know, yeah, yeah. Hey, you want to go meet He's Richard? Like, nah, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. Maybe maybe 10 years ago. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> maybe but if he walks he's over past to his him. prime. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but Patrice would be like, "Yeah, bring him over. Why don't you drag him over here?" <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, um, it's it's we it's always weird to me. Um, like I know you're kind of like like I know that uh, that you always you like thousands of pictures with celebrities, right? Sure. Like yeah. you love taking a picture with cele celebrities and stuff. In fact, uh. Uh, I remember Patrice trashing uh, 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 Chuck Nice because I, somebody he spoke up to give you to get a picture with or something like that. Oh, did he? And, I don't remember. Yeah. And then Patrice goes, 
you piece of shit. You told that story so that you could say that you that you were with Alice Cooper. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> was he trashing me or Chuck? No, he was trashing Chuck because oh, Chuck was telling the story. Uh, you know, I you know, with Alice Cooper and Norton didn't want to talk to him. So I brought him up and he was like, you piece of shit. <laughs> telling the story where you dro- name drop. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's an, an interesting thing that you've always been that. I know you're kind of like a fanboy when it comes to that. But yeah. don't you? I mean, don't you? In your mind, it never clicks to you that you're a celebrity too. Like, do you understand that the reason why they talk to you is not just because you're a fan? It's because you're a peer. No, well, they talk. It depends on. It's made me much like I, I'm. I'm very grounded with fans. Because I understand both sides of the coin really well. Like, I know how much someone can love you as a performer because I know that how I am with performers. I know what it's like when they're not nice back. Um, But no, it's like when they're in the radio studio, I always get it like I'll laugh sometimes. I'm like, if we were in L.A. at a party, this guy would (laughs) fucking spit on me if you were dead. But but now that he's in this room, he has to answer my questions. Like this guy literally has to engage me because he wants to promote something. So I'll take pictures in studio. But uh, most times they don't. I don't even think they recognize me once in a while. They will. And that's always uh, weird for me if they recognize something I've done. But uh, no, I never feel like we're peers. I, I always feel like I'm just fucking just walking up and asking. Maybe they'll say yes. Maybe they'll say yes. Young man school. 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.